In this activity, we are given an expression. We are asked to simplify the expression and then evaluate both expressions for a given value of a variable of variables. Then answer the question, are the expressions equivalent? So in this first row, we have three times the quantity x minus two plus seven x. To simplify this expression, the first step is to distribute the three. Distributing the three, we have three times x, which is three x, and then three times negative two, which is negative six, or minus six, and then plus seven x. The next step is to combine like terms. We have two x terms. Three x plus seven x is equal to 10 x. The simplified expression is 10 x minus six. In the next column, we're asked to evaluate both expressions when x equals six. We will first substitute six for x in the original expression, which will give us three times the quantity six minus two plus seven times six. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. This simplifies to three times six minus two is four, plus seven times six. The next step is to multiply. Three times four is 12, so we have 12 plus seven times six is 42. 12 plus 42 is equal to 54. And now we'll substitute six for x in the simplified expression, which is 10x minus six. Performing the substitution gives us 10 times six minus six. Multiplying before subtracting, we have 60 minus six, which also equals 54. As long as we simplify correctly, we should get the same value for either expression given a particular value of the variable. And so the answer to are the expressions equivalent, the answer is always yes, again, assuming we simplify correctly. In the second example, there are no parentheses to clear, and therefore to simplify, we combine like terms. So beginning with the given expression, it might be helpful to write minus x as minus one x. Combining like terms, negative three y squared and two y squared are like terms, and so are four x and negative one x. Simplifying, negative three y squared plus two y squared is negative one y squared, or just negative y squared, and then four x minus one x is equal to three x, we have plus three x. And now we evaluate both expressions when x equals six and y equals negative four. So first in the original expression, we have negative three times y squared is the square of negative four, and then plus four times x is four times six, plus two times y squared is two times the square of negative four, and then minus x is minus six. The next step is to simplify the exponents. The square of negative four is equal to 16. This gives us negative three times 16 plus four times six plus two times 16 minus six. Next step is to multiply. Negative three times 16 is negative 48 plus four times six is 24 plus two times 16 is 32 and then we still have minus six. Adding and subtracting from left to right, negative 48 plus 24 is negative 24. Negative 24 plus 32 is equal to eight and eight minus six is equal to two. So the original expression is equal to two when x equals six and y equals negative four. And now we'll perform the substitution into the simplified expression, which will give us the opposite of y squared is the opposite of the square of negative four plus three times x is three times six. Simplifying the exponents first, the square of negative four is 16, so we have negative 16 plus 18, which is also equal to positive two, which again is what we expect because these two expressions are always equivalent as long as we simplify correctly. So the answer here is yes. I think we'll stop here and look at two more examples in the next video.